Welcome back to the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series Edmonton 100 from the Rexall Speedway at the City Center Airport. Montreal's Alex Tagliani's Ubisoft Walmart Ford Fusion leads here on lap 11 of 32. Again, you can see how wide the racetrack is. Two distinctly different lines coming off that corner. And it looks like Andrew Ranger has been able to close the gap on his teammate. Ranger has stretched out a little bit ahead of the 22. Tow truck in a box Dodge Avenger. Uh, Scott Stackley and the 84 is coming as well. Well, J.R. Fitzpatrick turning the heat up a little bit on the 22 car and just pushing him towards the 27. There is a good look at your leader. Bouncing off the curb, says he. Twists up that Ford Fusion motor. Have a listen. Oh, Al Blanchard, don't watch this, show. Al Blanchard, the motor builder on the 27 and the 7. That thing was up in third gear for the longest time. That's like 7,500 RPM. But it seems to be working for Alex Tagliani. So far, no hiccups on the Ford Fusion as Stackley has a little bit of a luck on the 27 of Andrew Ranger, but he'll back off and tuck in behind. Yeah, while we're on board with Tagliani, he was able to stretch three, four, that's maybe even five car lengths on his teammate. Well, one car that's out, the 77. Derek Lynch just climbed out of the car after shutting off the motor. Derek, what was the problem? Did you find it yet? Yeah, it looks like we broke a piston or something. There's a hole outside uh, right in the block, so we lost the motor. So, short day here at Edmonton. Sorry for you. Derek Lynch will be back, though, in a week's time, guys, to try the road course again in Montreal. Tough break for the Allied Steel Buildings, folks, and Lynch will no doubt be back and stronger than ever in Montreal. Yeah, you got to think about this. We're on the West Coast, and we're heading for the East Coast. Yeah, and it's not too much time in between either, about a week, so these uh, teams really have to get things together and get back across the country. Now, there's Peter Gibbons in the, in the Ford Fusion. That is 11th position. Riding on board the... Number one Ford Fusion, the Canadian tire car of Peter Gibbons. And there's a good look at the top four now stretching a little bit of a gap back to the fifth place, number 19 car of Brad Graham. And how about the 22 car? People are starting to sit up and take notice of this driver. Of course, a 111-point cushion coming into this race. But Scott Steckley with Tow Truck in a Box, a full-time sponsor this year, and picking up Schick as an associate sponsor for Montreal. Well, good for them, but you got to remember, this young fellow, it's a family operation. You know, they, they really take care of their own stuff, but success breeds success. Bring on the sponsorship, a little more performance, and along comes more sponsorship. Absolutely. As we take a look at the ticker along the top of your screen, you can see where your favorite driver is running here with 19 laps to go in the Edmonton 100. We know that driver is comfortably in the top spot, the Walmart Ubisoft Ford Fusion of Andrew Ranger. Well at control. Well, he's really doing a great job, just barely grazing the curbs, not bouncing the car around too awful bad. A ways back in the field, you can see the guys being more aggressive as we go on board with his teammate. Let's have a look. So as Andrew Ranger continues to play the role of dog in the cat and dog game at the front, we'll take a look at where the Western area drivers are fearing here in the Edmonton 100. You can see Jason White, the cruise in the dub, a and W number 21, started back in the 21st spot. He's picked up a spot. He's currently running in 20th, but a decent job for White. There is Todd Nickel in the Norton number six. The Chevy Monte Carlo started in 18th. He's picked up a couple spots as well, currently running in the 16th position. Good run for him. James Van Dom Salar in the 14th car. He's also picked up a spot and is running in the 16th spot and the 44 of Jared Whistle is currently running in 18th. Look a little bit deeper in the field, the 60 and 02 Ron Beauchamp Jr. and Kerry Mix battling for 13th spot. Well, Kerry Mix has come all the way from deep in the field. He's now battling the 60 for 13th. There's two drivers that had some pretty bad luck, actually. Three drivers throw Dave Whitlock into the mix there. Had some pretty bad luck in her last stop at Vernon. So they're looking to turn things around and come charging up through the field. Well, Dave Whitlock, not known for his road race savvy, but he's doing a great job here today in Edmonton. And, of course, Dave Whitlock running the Dickey sponsorship, and you can vote for the Canadian Worker of the Year. Just go online to canadianworkeroftheyear.ca and place your vote. As Ken Noon and the Interstate Batteries 18 is off the pace in the 84, uh, J.R. Fitzpatrick goes around backwards. Caution flag flies for the first time here in the Edmonton 100. 
Wow, J.R. Fitzpatrick goes for a big slide. We'll have a look on the replay here, see if we can see what happened. The caution brought out for the stalled number 18 of Kent Noon, but have a look at this. We see Noon just stop there, and JR is all by himself. Maybe there's some liquid down on the racetrack, and JR just goes around. Hopefully, he didn't flat spot them tires. That's a pretty high-speed twist. Oh, look at that. There's a great replay. You hear the engine go up, instant RPM. That means there's fluid on the racetrack. He was hard on the throttle, and around it went. And at a pretty quick pace, so hopefully no engine trouble as well on the 84 as the back tires were engaged, obviously, in gear as Noon gets pushed off by the wheel and engineering safety crew, so that's obviously something in a way in their mind. Hopefully they didn't twist that engine over backwards. Well, JR is a great little shoe, and he'll put the hurt on it for sure. He never gives up inside that race car. And so J.R. Fitzpatrick will take his spot in fifth as the other drivers had passed him under caution. There is Sean Gibbs with the cross flags marking the halfway mark here in the Edmonton 100. So we take a look at the home hardware midway update. We've had two leaders for two lead changes and a total of one caution so far for two laps. This is the first caution. Fastest lap of the day so far put in by Andrew Ranger with a minute 22.256. That's a pretty quick lap, but a little bit off his qualifying time. So we continue under caution here in Edmonton. Alex Tagliani continues the lead.